How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good today. Uh, I haven't been down here forever with any practice on my pistol. So uh, what I did, I went and got just the cheapest 230 grain hardball that I could get for my <laughs> my antiquated unreliable piece of shit here. No, that's what some people like to say. I don't know. I think for me it's probably just fine. No, it isn't a Glock. It's not going to eat itself and keep shooting, I don't think. I don't know. I've never seen a real real burnout test on these things like the uh, Iraq veteran dude does. And let's see, I got quite the wide selection of magazines here. Let me see. Now these two are stock with the gun. It's a Springfield Armory. Chip McCormick Power Mag, 8 round. Another Chip McCormick. Uh, okay. We have two shooting stars. And we've got this odd thing. Uh, I don't know. That might even might even be a military thing. I don't know. It's just a <laughs> and it's still even got rust on it. That'll be the first one in. Anyhow, the drill I plan on. Uh, two shots on target. Well, draw. Two shots on target. Magazine change. Uh, drop the slide, two more shots on target. And I have a mag holster. Let me see, it was one of these and one of these. I kind of picked them at random. You know, if a, it, it's, I guess it's always helpful to introduce randomness into your, into your uh, workout, whatever the hell. I don't have a gong. <laughs> This is a low budget show here, folks. All right, start. Hands up. Draw. Slow and smooth. Like I said, it's been a while. And we'll just get the next three magazines in line. I figure it kind of works on your draw, your mag change, um, your targeting, and the two rounds for magazine thing stretches your ammunition. So, lather, rinse, repeat, that's my drill. You can see, maybe, what I can see, there's the, the <laughs> there's rust specks all over this thing, inside and out. I found this thing in a house that I was cleaning out. I didn't even think there was a floor plate on it. And I dropped it on a surface, and then the floor plate sprang up. So, all I did was oil it and load it up so 
we're just going to see how much a, I don't know if it's generic or junk, but, uh, let me see. First number, 19200-whatever, ASSY, assembly, I guess, 5508694, MFR, manufacturer, maybe? 1M291, 1 Motel 291. So we'll see how this particular magazine, being all rusted, will uh, function. No problem. I mean, that was only one run through with the magazine. So I got two plates here. You know, so you fire your volley, take your pin out, turn, turn the plates a little bit. You know what I mean? To cover up the holes. So then you're good again. 1911's old. It's too old. It's not viable anymore. Um, hey, that might be true in a lot of cases. Uh, I doubt there's a lot of there's probably a lot of soldiers out there that wouldn't want to carry one all day and I I couldn't really blame them because it's fucking heavy but a guy like me just a regular schmuck um, in Pennsylvania minimum speed on the interstate is 40 mile, 45 miles an hour if I'm not mistaken somebody correct me if I am but as far as I know I can still take a Model T down the interstate <clears throat> Uh, British Mark I tank, and I'm talking the first one, the first generation Mark I, that ridiculous rhomboid looking thing, three and a half miles an hour, choked its crew, broke down half the time, but you give me that tank, training on it, and a stupid enough six other people to man the damn thing, and they're trained up on it too, we could cause quite a ruckus with that thing. You know, until somebody broke out any kind of hunting rifle and started piercing it. But, you know, to completely discount something just because it's old and say it's absolutely worthless, all guns should be Glocks. Yeah, I'm not going to go there, but that guy can go piss up a rope too on that point. I do watch a lot of his videos though, and I like a lot of his stuff uh yeah give me that mark one tank training and a trained crew and we could cause quite a ruckus with that thing couldn't we before we got shot to pieces yes of course it wouldn't stand a chance against uh, probably even uh, uh stewart or even some guy with a hunting rifle would probably be able to go through that thing his armor is paper thin but you can't completely discount it. It's still useful for someone. That's all I'm saying. Now you give me a Stuart. Holy crap. That paper thin armor on that again, but <laughs> that thing gets around. That boogies. All right. Okay. Anyhow, yeah, take it easy.